You're buying a new home, but you haven't sold your existing home yet. What options do you have and what should you do? We'll talk about it right now. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver. If you want to learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. For buyers who currently own a home but are looking to purchase a new home, they usually need to access funds for their down payment. If you have cash ha on hand already, then this video is probably not for you. The video is for people who need their existing equity in their existing home to use it as a down payment for their new place. One of the most frequently asked questions is, should I sell first or should I buy first? And of course, the answer is, it depends on the market. In an environment where real estate inventory is very low, usually people buy first and then sell because it's much more difficult to secure a purchase versus selling the existing home. The last thing you want to do is sell your home first and then scramble to buy a new home within a limited timeline. The best case scenario in this type of situation is you buy a place and set the completion date say four months away. This gives you time to list and sell your existing place and to keep it in line of the two completion dates, one for the purchase and the other for the sale. What you want to try to do is to set the completion date of the sale before the completion date of the purchase. That way you'll receive the funds first and then you can use it towards the purchase. Now note that I set the completion date. That's when the transaction completes. You can still negotiate the possession date so that there's some overlap to help you with the move and transition from your existing place to your new home. But that's the best case scenario. We know that sometimes things just don't go our way. What if you received a very good offer but the completion date of the sale of your existing home comes after the completion date of your purchase? That's when a bridge loan comes in to assist with the purchase. Bridge loan gives you a short-term temporary loan in situations where your down payment is coming from the sale of your existing home, but it comes after your purchase. In this situation, we can apply and qualify for a bridge loan as long as the sale and the purchase is within 90 days apart. We simply need to calculate how much equity is available of your existing home. And this is very important. We need a firm sale agreement. We need a firm sale agreement. That's very important because banks are using the firm sale as their security to lend you additional funds for the purchase. When the bank has the two completion dates confirmed, they can calculate the amount and interest and request for the bridge loan to be paid back at the time of the sale of the existing home. We just need to get that firm sale agreement, current mortgage statement of the existing home, and a bridge loan can be set up. And there you go. We just went over how a bridge loan works. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more and make sure you click on the notification button so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.